We have been reporting on the crisis for the foster care system in Clark County. Hundreds of families are still needed to take in thousands of children. One parent says they saw our story back in January on the emergency for parents to take in babies, but they were told their family wasn't eligible to be foster parents. For the family's personal religious reasons, their children do not have all their vaccines. They are lobbying for change and caught the ear of one local lawmaker. Now, the idea has also stirred some concerns from doctors. I knew we had to take in one more. We're Christians and we're called to care for the widows and the orphans. Mom Katie Nimmo saw our story last month. There were dozens of babies at Clark County's Child Haven and not enough foster families to take them in. She and her husband wanted to help and went to the emergency course to foster babies. That's when they were told they were not eligible to be a foster family. We were devastated. Katie were disqualified. And I said, what do you mean? Like, we're, we're a military family. We're stable. The kids, we don't have them on the CDC schedule, we can't foster. To know that the government is withholding us from carrying out those convictions um, of our faith is very frustrating. Katie, a nurse, says she's in constant communication with her pediatrician to make sure her children are healthy and well. But for her family's religious concerns, the kids are not on what's called the CDC vaccine schedule. The CDC's website explains by certain benchmarks, children should get shots for diseases like polio, measles, or mumps. State law says all children in a foster home must be up to date on vaccines. Katie learned others at her church and in the community had the same hurdle and reached out to state senator scott hammond trying to protect them from one thing but then you've created another situation where you're you're endangering them a little bit or harming them because you know we can't get foster families to take them in hammond says vaccine requirements were a barrier for 40 families in clark county he's looking to modify state statutes or even put forth a bill he asks if schools can have religious exemptions for children why can't foster families especially in a crisis sometimes they're their best intentions right and we, we want to protect people as, as much as we possibly can but there's also sort of the you know unintended consequences and sometimes just common sense. In order for any child to have a better quality of life, they need to be protected from preventable diseases such as COVID, flu, measles, polio. Dr. Sherilyn Duckworth heads up Immunize Nevada, which helps families across the state get their kids up to date on shots to attend school. She and other doctors have concerns for the safety of foster children. Do not act on emotion. Think about how tragic it could be. What if this child is immunocompromised? This child may not recover fully from that virus. In the span of a month, the county went from dozens of children under the age of two at Child Haven down to 10 now. The county says there has been a slight increase in the number of homes, but they are still short 400 foster families.